Hey guys, it's Mina. Sorry. And today in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to knit a hacky sack, and it comes from this book right here. Um, so to, I'm going to show you guys how to do it, and what you're going to need is you're going to need some worsted weight yarn. This is actually pretty much finger weight yarn, but I'm using it up anyway because I don't want it to go to waste. A row counter, or if you don't have one of these, you can just replace it with a piece of paper and a pencil. Pencil, and it's just for keeping track of your rows. Size 8 knitting needles, some scissors, a size H crochet hook, a tapestry needle, and some uncooked rice. And you may need some netting, but I don't have any netting for mine, so I'm just going to do it without the netting. <coughs> Sorry, I just sneeze. So I'm going to um, show you what to do now. What we're going to do now is, I'm going to move this so it doesn't get bumped, is I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to make a slip knot, pull it, and then I'm going to slip it onto my needle, and then I'm going to cast on nine stitches, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. I've cast it on nine stitches, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get started by doing an increase row. So to do an increase row, we are going to knit one, knit the first stitch. Ah! Sorry, 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 sorry. Knit the first stitch. Stitch by putting the right needle behind the left one, wrap the yarn around counterclockwise, push it down and pulling the stitch through, but we're not going to take it off the needle just yet because we're going to increase. And to increase, we're going to go into the back of the stitch like this. We're going into the back of the stitch like this, wrap the yarn around counterclockwise again, and then we push it down, down and through, catching the yarn, and now we have two stitches on our needle. So see how that works? I'm going to show you one more time and then I'm just going to finish the row. Put the yarn in the back, wrap yarn around counterclockwise, push it down. Oops, sorry. I got a um, split my yarn. Push it down, wrap yarn around counterclockwise, clockwise, clockwise, and push it through. But don't take the stitch off the needle. And then this goes into the back and wrap the yarn around, push it down, and then take the stitch off. So you're going to just repeat that whole process until you have knitted, knitted, done, until you've knitted all the stitches. You should end up with about 18 stitches on your needle because, because you're increasing, um, each stitch across and you, as you increase it creates two stitches. Okay, so you should now have 18 stitches, 
And I'll show you guys what to do in the next part because this part's getting kind of long and I don't want you guys to get bored. So, um, this is what the first row should look like. You should have 18 stitches on your needle. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you in part two. And sorry if it's a little bit blurry. Um, I don't know why it's not in focus right now. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next part. Bye.